So today we're joined by Vivian, who's used TensorFlow.js to create a rather amazing parallax effect in the browser. But before we learn more about that, welcome Vivian to the show. And let's start with who you are and what your prior experience with machine learning is. Thank you. Hi. So I'm Vivian. I live in France, in Paris. And I started to get interested in machine learning when I was studying engineering at university. So it's quite a long time ago. And now I work for an AI software company called Dataiku. And basically, my job is to help our customers invent and implement AI projects. Great. So thanks for joining us today. So I hear you recreated the parallax effect in a way that can be used on a website with nothing more than a standard web camera. Can you tell us more about the project? Yeah. So the basic objective is to be able to recreate the illusion of 3D in the browser. And for this, uh, we use the parallax effect, which is basically the fact that when you move, what you see of the objects around you changes, and this gives you an indication about their location or their shape. And this helps you make sense of your environment in three dimensions. So that's basically the, the principle on which it ba is based. And more concretely, um, I use uh, 3GS, which is a JavaScript library, which allows you to visualize a 3D object from whatever angle you choose. And to determine this angle, I track the face of the user with uh, a pre-trained face tracking model in TensorFlow.js. And that's basically how I do this. So I know in real time where the face of the person is, and I can always display the right side of the object so that we believe that it's a, a real object. Okay, that. that sounds really cool. Maybe we can see a demo of this in action. Yeah, sure. OK, so here you can see me on the bottom left. So here I move to the left, to the right. And you can see the spaceship from my perspective. So it, it moves as I move. Mm -hmm. So it works left or right or up and down. OK. And this is the view of what you actually see. <laughs> yeah. The view from the perspective of the user, which I captured wow. with a smartphone. <laughs> That really pops out of the screen. That's amazing. It's so realistic. <laughs> and it can work with the 3D model with an animation. It's basically the same. So I go left or right, up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, we can see the similar effect happening here as you move your head around. That That's really, really cool. OK, and one more? Perfect. Yeah, and you can have an even more complex 3D scene, Ooh. and it works the same. Maybe it's a little less fluid as compared to the others. Uh -huh. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I see what you mean. Maybe a little less fluid, but it still works very nicely. You can, you can get an idea of like you know, kind of the space of the room and uh, really look around as if you're there, which is very, very cool. Um, so what was your inspiration to uh, create this? So I was inspired by a YouTube video that I saw many years ago. I think the video dates back from 2007. And this video was made by a researcher called Johnny Lee. And basically, he made the same thing. But um, in order to track the face of the user, he didn't use a webcam and a pre-trained computer vision model, but he used um, the controller of a Wii game console. But otherwise, it was the same. And I was very impressed by the, by the demo because it, it worked really well. It was very visual. You could really see the objects coming out of the TV. And the nice thing is that you could do this with just a regular TV and without 3D glasses. So um, I really love this video. It, it made really a lasting impression on me. And then mm -hmm. Last August, I happened to read an article on uh, the Google AI blog. Yes. And it was about an iris detection model. And when I saw this, I made the connection with the YouTube video. And I realized that I could do the same as the video. But it could be even more fun because I would not need anything on myself. I would just use the webcam. So I had this idea yeah. in mind. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I had more time, thanks to a lockdown in France in November, I decided to, to try to give it a go. And it worked. And here we are. 
Amazing. And now everyone can try it just with a simple webcam in the browser. So that's really cool. So what other applications do you see this technology being used in? Well, for example, it could be fun to have this in a video game so that mm -hmm. it would be a new way to interact with the game. And also you could imagine an art exhibition with digital paintings like the one you can see in Harry Potter, for example. So it could be fun, but we could also imagine more serious applications, like for example, in professional contexts. So mm -hmm. for example, if you have in mind a surgeon who needs to look at a 3D medical image, and maybe this person cannot use his or her hands yeah. and cannot interact with the device. So maybe it would be a way to, for this person to, to do his or her job yeah, that, that'd be super cool. And like, of course, the less expensive hardware has been required, um, more accessible around the world for any doctor anywhere to then be able to use that. And to your other points as well, like the gaming, I can imagine for escape the room type games, you can actually like look around the room and pretend you're actually there in the times when we can't be in these physical rooms anymore. And uh, again, uh, for the art exhibitions, I think th things like Tilt Brush exist, we have these virtual reality pieces of artwork that you can then actually explore just by moving your head around. Even if you don't have a VR headset, you get the sense and the essence of a 3D scene, which is a super interesting way to look at it. So very interesting and, and many much potential there. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Um, it's great to talk to you today and I look forward to seeing where it goes. Well, thank you very much, Jason. And also thank you to all the contributors to TensorFlow.js for such a cool library and also all the very nice uh, pre-trained models. Awesome. See you soon. See you. Bye.